Hey everyone, and good morning. We're over at the Hunter's Lodge. Ooh, gotta watch that bear. I think I, I think I can lose him. Yeah, I can lose him. So we're over by the South Lake, and I am going to do some pearl and sandstone diving because I want to see what the lake down here is like in comparison to the lake in the north. Excellent, excellent. I I have everything I need. I have um, I have scuba gear, and I have twelve oxygen tanks. But I didn't bring an extra pick. But now I think I have. I think I just got everything I need to make a second pick. So I think I'm gonna go do that here in a moment after this wolf stops following me. So anyway, it's a perfect day for scuba diving. There we go, I just needed to make one more. And get that on. So I'm just gonna swim around. I think what I'll do is, I'm just gonna bring you back like, a little bit here and there of the video of getting uh, some of these pearls, but I don't think I'll like, take you along for like every single minute. I think that's a, maybe a little bit too much. That might be a little bit too boring. But here we go, first one. Let's see how this works out. Yeah, how is this? How does this lake compare to the other one? Better, or worse? Oh yeah, let's go down there and go get those. So before I came down here, I ran over to Cracker's place and you know, see if she was there. She wasn't, unfortunately. And what I brought, you know, kind of like a peace offering. Because, you know, she's, she's, you know, her chickens are very important to her. And I think that maybe she's still suspicious about those chickens. And, you know, I don't blame her. But what I did is I, you know, I took all that sandstone I got. And then I turned it into glass fragments in my refinery. And then... In my on my workbench, I made that into okay. I want the I want the I want the I want the pearl more than I want the uh, sandstone. So then I took it on the workbench, and I made it all into uh, glass panels. And I had like a hundred of them. I had like a hundred. I know I know crackers need some grass glass panels. She's doing a lot of work over at her south base. I can't think if she's doing anything else besides, or needs anything else for the glass. So I, I brought over, you know, a peace offering, like a hundred um, glass panels. I mean, that's that's pretty good. I mean, that's a lot of work to get that, to get a hundred. But she, as yeah, she wasn't there. So the plan for the diving today is, I'm just gonna go along the, I'm gonna go along the shallow ends and we'll go along the deep ends just get everything and anything that I can get and see what it what it tallies up to be but first we'll go around the shallow end and maybe you know I can get a look at how that works out no I know I could do the shallow end on my own I could always just go deep and just see yeah what what we do that the shallow end is super easy let's let's go deep I haven't seen any updates from Code Games, from Subsistence, about whenever the next patch is going to be. We're, we're halfway through October right now, so I figure... Oh, look at that, two pearls. Okay, it's not as good as Crackers 3, but it's pretty, pretty good here. I'm right next to each other. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, so anyway, um... Yep, nothing. Haven't, haven't heard anything yet at all from from the subsistence developers about what's going on with with the game and you know the next patch release i know that they have stuff that they were going to add and we and we we've already kind of talked about it let me see oh i want to i want to use my map so i can see if this i think this might be the island right here that might just be the the island in the middle of the or not the middle of the lake but you know over by the boundary over by the fence but still nothing yeah still nothing from subsistence uh, from for whatever the patch is if it's going to happen 
they, they just they just kind of like spring it on us it's like here it is ta-da have fun see you in three months yep yep that's a small little island right there I don't know should I go over there or just continue staying in the middle area maybe I just continue staying in this little mer middle area and just keep going around it um you know, I really want the pearl. So if I'm gonna, if I see a pearl like this, I, I don't care. I'm gonna go get it. Cause you know, you think about it. Um, there's a lot of distance between the upper area like this and the the area down below. So yeah, I think. Ooh, nice. So if I see it, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go for it and go get it. Oh. And baby's home alone. But I made sure that she had full food, everything in her uh you know, in her animal house. She should be she should be good for day Ooh, is that is that a clam or is that a ore? I'm not here to get ore, am I? No, 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 that's a clam. That's good. I think yeah, I think what I'll do is I'm just gonna try to swim around the same area here. Just swim around the same area and see how it does. I wonder how many how many times around this I could make if I just stick to the just the central area here and try to stay away from the shallows. Nice, kind of nice, a little shallow, but that's fine. See what I think is when it comes to like grinding, and of course I could be wrong, you know, is that it just takes so much time to go up and down in the water. That it almost makes sense like if you're gonna go do a f grind in the lake just you know start either in the shallows and stick to the shallows because it doesn't take you know it takes more time to swim up and down constantly versus swimming along you know like the bottom or swimming along the top and of course here I am I'm heading back up again toward the shallows but whatever Right, that one was about that was a little bit less than half half durability left on that, so crossing my fingers, man, that, that this pick is is more enough to finish everything off. I don't think I have enough materials to make another pick. Truthfully, I don't think I do. I made one yesterday and put it away and then just forgot to get it when I was grabbing the scuba gear and the oxygen tanks. We're at the halfway point of our oxygen tank usage. Yeah, let's swim up there and get it. And as I said, I'm just sticking to the, the central area of the lake, of the South Lake. I'm not going around the island that's over by the boundary, the, the boundary fence, the fence boundary, whatever you call it. I just don't think that's gonna be terribly inef or terribly efficient. It's surprising, this, there's this little rise area and I'm not seeing anything on there at all, period. But um, everything else is looking okay. I, I don't know. I have no idea how well or how poorly this is going. What's that up there? Oh, that's definitely a pearl. Yeah, we're going to grab that. Yeah, I don't know. I figure once we get this, once this is done, um, it depends. I mean, I might, I might just take tonight and run back to my main base. And make sure that baby is okay that she's you know she's got enough food and she was fine yesterday she was almost full up on food I would figure that you know she can survive another day at what she had and it's definitely getting murky down here I wonder if I'll even be able to get through all my tanks because you know the Sun is setting on the other side of the mountains in the west and it's possible that Maybe it'll get too dark here and I just won't be able to uh, use up all my oxygen tanks Seriously, I mean I mean it really this is This is starting it's starting to get a little bit challenging To see anything here But okay, well, well yep, yeah, we'll, we'll go as close as we can I don't know if I'm gonna try to do this if the if the Sun goes down and it's dark I don't know if I'll continue swimming down here regardless of how much oxygen I have left. It just seems like, I don't know, maybe not such a good idea 
to try to go around the dark. I'd rather save the oxygen tanks for another day, you know? Two oxygen tanks left. And, oh, is that something? No, that wasn't anything over there. It's, it's getting dark, but I could still, I could kind of still see, so maybe, maybe we'll get a chance to use the last one, and then at least I'll, you know, have finished doing, it was about 12 and a half oxygen tanks they had in here. Well, we can round that down to 12. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I have an idea of what I want to guess. I don't think it's, I don't think that I got any surprises here. I don't think that, uh, this is any better than at the North Lake, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see when we finally tally up. Let me check the map. I just want to see where are their rogues. Because I think, I think I'm just going to, ooh, okay, so one right there. I think, I think we'll just make a beeline for our base. We're just going to head back to the North Lake, just skip the, Skip the base over here and, and um, you know, tally up there, I think. There we go. We're back. Just in time for morning. Let me go check on Bebe to make sure that she's okay. Okay, here we go. I haven't looked either. I, I still have all my scuba gear and everything on. So, my guess, I'm going to say 140 sandstone. And we'll just say 40 pearls. But... I, I think I think it's gonna be higher than that. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm completely and totally wrong. Okay, here we go. Oh, 42 and 125. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, cool. Cool beans. Yeah, I'll take that 42 more more pearls. Yeah, definitely we can make a bunch more oops. Yeah, okay, that's there. Yeah, we can make a, a bunch more solar panels. And that's what we're going to do next. But let me get this stuff out of my bag first. Circuit boards. This is nice. This is nice. I didn't have to go out and get circuit boards. I actually have, like, extra. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go grind for circuit or uh, electrical panels. And you know what? It's a windy day. And this says, this tells me something. This tells me, you know what? Wind turbine. Yeah, wind turbine. And anyway, Crackers has so many more than us. We can't, we can't let her have more than us. We gotta, we gotta catch up to her a little bit. And not let her get away with having so many, uh, wind turbines. Perfect. Go get this put up, up, up. Okay, up. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. There's some guys over there. All right, they're far enough away. Yeah, they look like they're far enough away. Yeah, look at those things go. Look at them go. Um, put you there. And I got this here. And I think got to go right around this direction, right? I'm going to go there. You go right about there. Oh, wait. I want to go I want to go half and half. Okay, give me a sec. Half and half. Not the whole way, the half. We'll go half. And Does that look about halfway? Yeah, that's fine. There you go. Oop, what am I? What am I? Okay. There you go. Four wind turbines. Holy smokes. So we got a lot of stuff done today, man. There we go. All right. Hero shot time. Let's see, how's this? Does this look good? Yeah. That guy, it looks good. It's like, yeah. Let's try it. Try, try it again. Try it a little bit over. A little bit more over. There we go. So anyway, yeah. That'll be it for this video, guys. So I think that it doesn't matter which lake. You can go either lake, South Lake, North Lake, whatever. But I know that I'm going to spend some of the game over at the South Lake. I think once it gets um, really hot in the game, once uh, summer comes, comes around, I'll go down there just because 
it's a higher elevation, the area that I'll be playing in. And it'll be easier to stay cool, you know? So, that'll be it for this video. And if you guys like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, you get alerts when I come out with new videos, which is every single day, and as always, comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, dudes.